Okay, here is ANY Sphere 3D. This finishes at $9.40 today. That is up 40.78%. Please like the video. Please subscribe and catch me every weekday after market close on the Smarter Gambling Show. Okay, so here is BBIG, Vinco Ventures. This finishes at $7.99 today. That is down 15.18%. So another day at the office. This stock has been squeezing for the past week. So the apes are still in here. Maybe it still has some more room to squeeze, but it looks like the momentum is cooling off. No specific news or anything to justify this price action today. Just a bunch of ape stuff going on here. So I've been saying for the past week that it's probably going to pull back pretty hard because it ran all the way from uh, the $2 range all the way to $12 almost. So that's an absurd run. You know, uh, I said it couldn't last forever. It's probably going to come down soon. Yeah, today we get some major pullback. So we'll have to see where this goes in the next few trading sessions. But let's analyze this. So we have a gap up at $3. So that is a bearish indicator. That is telling us that this is likely to come back down to $3 eventually to fill that gap. And we also have another gap up all the way back in January. This gapped up at around $150. So that's also a bearish indicator that is telling us that this is likely to come back down to $150 eventually to fill that gap. I would say the $3 gap is way more likely to fill than the $150 gap. This does look like a possible cup and handle. Top of the cup being 940 and the bottom of the cup being around $2. So that is a bearish indicator at the moment. If this is in fact a cup and handle and the handle starts to form, this should pull back to around $5, about halfway in order to complete the handle. So right now this is trading between the sideways channel, the rectangle of 815 and $7. So if this goes to the upside, next level of resistance would be 815, 910, 940, $10, and then the all-time high, 1190. And if this goes to the downside, next level of support would be $7, 650, $6, and then 530. And there's a bunch of support below 530, but we're not going to discuss that right now. So right now with this current price, $8, the channels to the upside and the downside are extremely wide. So expect a very significant amount of price action either way this goes. However, if slash when this comes back down to 530, there is some very strong support there and the channel starts to narrow. So you should expect the price action to decrease significantly if slash when this comes back to 530. So the RSI is currently at 72. So that still is overbought and overvalued, but it is quickly coming down. And this did 106 million in volume today. Very significant volume. Way more than average. So this sell-off today was confirmed by the volume. So if you want to go long, not financial advice. I would not do that. I don't recommend that. I'm not saying that this won't keep on squeezing. But I just think at this current price at $8, this is really not a good entry. You know, this was squeezing all the way from $3. So here at 8 this is... Pretty far from the bottom. That in addition to all the bearish indicators. High RSI. High volume. Multiple gap ups. And we got the potential cup and handle forming here. So honestly this looks like a really bearish chart here. And if you were to go long right now. You're probably going to end up holding the bag. So I don't think that's a good idea. However. If this does come back down to at least 530. Then I would say you can start building a position. And it could go way below 530, but I would say wait until at least 530 to go long. Might even come back to 3 to fill the gap. I support going long, just hold off. Definitely don't go long right here at $8. Now if you want to go short, not financial advice. Looks like a pretty decent play. Not the greatest entry either here at $8 going short. But this does have a lot of downside potential. This should come back to the 5s eventually. So you should be able to get... I would say around 30% on this. And if it pulls back to 3, if you're willing to hold that long, you know, that's a lot of money. So yeah, even at this current price, there's still a lot of downside potential. 
and a lot of tendies to be made. Two gap ups, high RSI, high volume, potential cup and handle. Very bearish indicators here, no bullish indicators. So this does appear like it's going to pull back in the short term. So yeah, going short looks like a pretty good play here to me. However, we may not be out of this squeeze just yet. It appears like the momentum is cooling off, but you never know. Not very likely, but possible. So if you do decide to go short, just understand the risks involved. So sorry to everyone who lost money on this one today. And good luck to everyone currently in this stock and to everyone looking to take a position. This is BBIG, Vinco Ventures. Okay, here is SPRT, support.com. This finishes at $22 today. That is down 8.71%. So this is another meme stock that has been squeezing. It does appear like the squeeze is over and it is now in free fall. So let's analyze. So we have a gap up at $20. So that is a bearish indicator that is telling us that this is likely to come back down to $20 eventually to fill that gap. Might be in the short term. This is already at 22, so 20 is not that far away. We also have a gap down at 31. So that's a bullish indicator that is telling us that this is likely to come back up to 31 eventually to fill that gap. Now I do think it's going to come back to 20 before it goes back to 31. So right now, this is sitting on the support of $22, which it finished at today. So if this goes to the upside, next level of resistance would be 24, 26, 29, 30, 31, 36, 20, 38, 60, 43, 15, and then the all-time high, 59, 69. And if this goes to the downside, next level of support would be $20 and then 15. And there's a bunch of support below 15, but we're not going to discuss that right now. So at this current price, $22, the channels to the upside and the downside are pretty wide. So expect a significant amount of price action either way this goes. However, if slash when this comes back down to 15, the channel starts to narrow. There's a lot of support at 15 and below. So I would expect the price action to decrease significantly if slash when this comes back to 15. RSI is currently at 61 no longer in overbought, overvalued territory, and it appears like it's going to keep going down. And this did 29 million in volume today, very significant volume day. So the sell-off today was confirmed by the volume. So if you want to go long, not financial advice, I would not do that. I don't recommend that. This still appears like it's free falling. It does not appear like there is any support just yet. It has not started to bottom yet. So if you were to go along here, you'd probably be catching a falling knife and you're probably going to end up holding the bag. We got a pretty high RSI, high volume, a gap up. So those are bearish indicators. So in the short term, I do think this is going to keep pulling back. It should come back to at least 20 and maybe even 15. So if you want to go long, I would hold off for right now. Wait until at least 20, I would say. It's probably even going lower than that. Now, if you want to go short, not financial advice. Seems like a decent play. Personally, I probably wouldn't do it. Here at 22, not the greatest entry. This is a long way down from the top of 60. That being said, you could still make some decent amount of money here. Like I said, this should come back down to 20 at least, and maybe even 15. So that would be about a 10 to 30% gain that you would make if you went short here. So going short looks like a pretty decent play here. You just have to get out as soon as you can. You know, get your money and get out. This is not really one you should hold for that long. Again, pretty high RSI, high volume, gap up. Looks like it's free falling right now. No support. So this chart does look very bearish and it should keep pulling back in the short term. I don't expect any like crash or anything, but this should slowly start to bleed. So if you want to go short, I would support that. Now, just be aware that this is a meme stock and this does have a lot of strong social media sentiment. So not likely, but this could reverse and squeeze at any time. So just be aware of that there are risks involved going short here. So sorry to everyone who lost money in this one today. And good luck to everyone currently in this stock and to everyone looking to take a position. This is SPRT support.com. So here's MMAT meta materials. This finishes at $5 37 cents today. That is up 15.98%. <laughs>
So yet again, another meme stock that we've been covering a lot in the past week. I've been saying up to this point, it looks like we have a cup and handle forming here. It looks like we bottomed out and we might start to see a reversal soon. It looks like we are reversing and it's gaining a lot of momentum. So no news or anything to justify this price action today. So just a bunch of ape stuff going on here. All right, let's analyze this. So we have a gap down at $14. So that is a bullish indicator that is telling us that this is likely to come back up to 14 eventually to fill that gap. And honestly, it might be a little while, but eventually it should fill. And we do have this possible cup and handle. Top of the cup could be 20 or it could be 12. And the bottom appears to be 315. But it does appear like a cup is forming here. It appears like we bottomed out and we are seeing a reversal right now. So that is currently a bullish indicator. So right now this is trading between the sideways channel, the rectangle of 570 and 515. So if this goes to the upside, next level of resistance would be 570, 660, 740, 790, 850, 970, 1080, 1150, 14, 16, 1780, $20, and then the all-time high, 2176. And if this goes to the downside, next level of support would be 520, 450, $4, 350, 315, 260, 160, 85 cents, and then the low of 40 cents. So right now at this current price, 537, the channels to the upside and the downside are pretty decently sized. So expect a good amount of price action either way this goes. However, if slash when this breaks 850, the channel starts to open up and get pretty wide. So I would expect a significant increase in price action if slash when this breaks 850. The RSI is currently at 68. So not quite overbought and overvalued just yet, but it's quickly approaching that. So be careful guys. And this did 42 million in volume today. Very significant volume. So this pump today was confirmed by the volume. So if you want to go long, not financial advice. I wouldn't personally do it, but I support it. I wouldn't go for it because this is already a pretty decent way from the bottom, which is 315. So you already missed out on a good amount of attendees here. But that being said, it still looks like there is a lot of upside potential. Like I said earlier, this could come back to 12 or 20. So if it does, you know, this current price, 537, really doesn't seem like that bad of a price. So going along here would be a little bit risky. But it could pay off pretty big. So it's a medium risk, high reward play, I would say. So if you want to go long, I would support it. Just be aware of the risks right now. If this comes back to the downside, you could lose a good amount of money. Now, if you want to go short, not financial advice, I would not do that. I don't recommend that. This looks pretty strong right now. Very bullish looking graph. Got a deep cup and handle here. And we have the gap down at 14. So those are bullish indicators. So in all likelihood, this is going to keep running to the upside. Even if it does go to the downside, there's not too much money to be made here. There's some pretty strong support. You'd be trying to make a little bit of money and putting yourself at risk of losing a lot of money at the same time. So it looks like a high risk, low reward play to me. I will say though, that if this does come back to 12 or 20, then that would be an excellent time to open a short position. Currently at this price, 537, the price is not high enough in order to justify a short play, in my opinion. So if you want to go short, I support it, just definitely not at this current price. Wait to see if it squeezes, and if it does, then you take a short position. So congratulations to everyone who made money on this one today and the past week, and good luck to everyone currently in the stock and to everyone looking to take a position. This is MMAT, Metamaterials. Okay, here's ANY, Sphere 3D. This finishes at $9.40 today. That is up 40.78%. So it appears like this is a new meme stock. It looks like the momentum from BBIG and SPRT are cooling down. And the apes have now jumped on this one, ANY. There was a little bit of news. So let's take a look at that. So it says a popular Twitter trader, Will Mead. Honestly, I don't know who that is. But he says... He's long on ANY. This is the next SPRT. And they have a very good management team. So not quite sure how much that had to do with this pump slash squeeze today. But it definitely had some effect. Overall, I don't think it had that much to do with this. Anyway, let's analyze. 
So we did have a cup and handle here, but this blew way past the top of the cup. That got rejected. Doesn't appear like that's a cup and handle any longer. So right now this is sitting on the support of 940, which it finished at today. So if this goes to the upside, the next level of resistance would be the all-time high, $12, which it set today. And if this goes to the downside, next level of support would be 770, 670, 640, $6, 560, 530, 485, 450, 430. Four dollars and then 380 and there's a bunch of support below 380 but we're not going to discuss that right now so right now at this current price 940 the channels to the upside and the downside are extremely wide so expect a very significant amount of price action either way this goes however if slash when this comes back down to 670 the channel starts to narrow so you should expect a good decrease in price action if slash when this comes back down to 670. And in addition, if slash when this comes back down to 380, the channels really start to narrow. So you should expect a very significant decrease in the price action if slash when this comes back down to 380. The RSI is currently at 84, so that is very overbought and overvalued. So be careful, guys. And this did 245 million in volume today. Very significant volume day. Biggest volume day ever for this stock. So this pump today was confirmed by the volume. So if you want to go long, not financial advice. I would not do that. I don't recommend that. Looks like you missed your shot. You know, the time to go long would have been four, five, maybe even six. But at this current price, 940, this is a bit too high. You'd be FOMOing in the relative top here. And you're probably going to end up holding the bag. So it doesn't really seem like a good idea. You know, you missed your chance, just got to move on. So if it does pull back, then I would start loading up. I can't give you a specific price. It should pull back pretty significantly, and you should be able to get this at a way better price. So I would support going long, just definitely not at this current price, 940. Now, if you want to go short, not financial advice. Looks like a pretty decent play. It may be too risky as of this moment, because we don't know if the squeeze is done or not. But this squeezed all the way from $4 to 12 so that is an absurd run. We're getting a lot of bearish indicators here. High RSI and high volume. This was at an all-time high earlier today. So just looking at the TA, the technical analysis, it appears like this should be pulling back in the short term. Can't say how much it's going to pull back, but you should be able to make a good amount of attendees here. So I would support going short here. Seems like a pretty good play. However, as I just said, we don't know if this squeeze is done yet. Maybe it's not. So if you don't have that much risk tolerance, I wouldn't do it. But if you are willing to hold through some volatility, then yeah, going short here at 940 seems like a pretty good play. If your risk tolerance isn't that high, then maybe you should hold on a little bit, see if this does squeeze, and see if you can get a better price to go short on. But yeah, you know, this price, 940, pretty good price. A lot of downside potential here. So I'd support going short. So congratulations to everyone who made money on this one today. Consider taking profits, not financial advice. But this isn't going to stay up forever. And good luck to everyone currently in the stock and to everyone looking to take a position. This is ANY Sphere 3D. Thanks everyone for watching today. I appreciate you guys. Please like the video. Please subscribe and catch me every weekday after market close on the Smarter Gambling Show. You apes already know Diamond Hands 2 the moon. I'm Ty. This is Smarter Gambling. See you guys tomorrow. Peace out.